Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Nicole Griffin. Over the last week, Indianapolis has reached a sad milestone when it comes to violence. Last night, police began investigating the city's 207th homicide of the year. Instead of focusing on the numbers tonight, WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson is taking a look at the impact daily violence is having on neighbors and those working to end it. Bah, 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 bah. I said, them are not fireworks tonight, though. Miss Deidre heard the shots from inside her home and watched as investigators searched for evidence to help bring the victim's family closure. Somebody else's child, somebody, somebody has gotten killed again for what I don't know. She says it was a sound that's becoming too familiar. I'm tired of hearing that. Dozens of Indianapolis families have lost a loved one this year to gun violence. IMPD reports 66 victims were just 18 to 24 years old. You know, that's very personal to me. A lot of the young men who are in my program have either been a victim or may have been the actual perpetrator. Uh, I just lost a young man, Marlon, not too many weeks ago, who was a Pike student of mine and then transferred over to my program. Eric Davenport is a director at an Eastside Boys and Girls Club. He's also a founding member of the Black Men's Group, mentoring youth and young adults to be better than the streets. Violence is, is perpetrated by those individuals who are really suffering themselves, right? And so we need to find a way to relieve some of the pressure that is in our neighborhoods that's causing this uh, instant violence. He says working with the youth has saved some lives. Davenport commends the mayor's office and city council for investing in the community, but feels more money should be poured into smaller programs that are making a big difference. We're going to have to put these in grassroots programs that are actually working. I think sometimes we, we always want to go with the bigger proven, and we need to go with some of these outside-the-box theories and thoughts because we don't, we're going to keep putting our kids in boxes. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Well, Davenport encourages those in the community frustrated with this violence to get involved with community programs. Mayor Hogsett's violence prevention programs gave more than $2 million in grants this year to 26 community groups working to reduce violence in the city. The mayor's budget plan for next year includes more money for organizations to continue that mission. Along with covering community solutions to the violence, WRTV is also working to go beyond the numbers to show you the lives that have been lost in 2021. You can find their stories, their faces, and updates about their cases at WRTV.com and on the WRTV app.